Hey guys, it is Friday and working on the backpack again. Right now, just pulling some threads from the uh, old backpack that I had made last year. And uh, yeah, gonna reuse this material to make some shoulder straps. And uh, yeah, it's based off of a Herschel bag or something how they have their shoulder straps. Basically made a tube and uh, turned that inside out. Kind of satisfying to turn inside out the uh, tube. I actually did this like twice because I uh, forgot to trim off the excess material and should have made this clip shorter. <laughs> But uh, overall, pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's a pretty decent shape. I uh, turned out the other one and they don't really like match perfectly, the tapered end, but I think that's okay. I found this outdoor cushion outside as just like one of those things that people are like, you know, tossing because they don't eat. And I had a feeling this foam would come in handy one of these days. That or I could just use it as a seat or something. But anyways, I cut that strip in half since it was kind of thick. And I did it freehand and it wasn't a perfect cut. It was kind of wedge shaped. But that actually worked out really well because now it's like I have two pieces that will be like thick at the top shoulder strap. And they both kind of uniformly taper down. So I think that's good. And uh, yeah, just sewed the strap directly onto the padding all the way through it. That's the way the uh, backpack that I'm like copying this from did it. And I think it looks good. It'll keep the foam in place too and feel strong. I'm like yeah, that's nice. Then I got distracted a little while, watched a Captain Dish Illusion video. I'm like, oh yeah, that's good stuff. And then I did the other one. So with that done, I think I was ready to attach it to the back touching panel. As well as add that, uh, that like, uh, handle, I guess. You know, that top handle that a lot of backpacks have. That should be good. And, yeah. I think I'm ready to attach this to the interior back panel. This is something that I changed from the original design was uh, this bottom buckle. I have it tucked in <clears throat> so it'll be like a lot of extra material. However, this kind of broke my needle I think. It really bent it out of shape. Too much material. Then I put in a new needle and I must have done something wrong and it seemed like it also got bent, which is weird because when I'm using the uh, the thread puller it lined up last time so I had it in at the right height, I think. But uh, yeah, I've been using this like bowl method where I put my extra long thread spool into the bowl and then it shouldn't have too much like friction and it gets pulled but I was worried that maybe this got like too tight or something so I tried to have it on like this spool and maybe that would be alright and then I also tried to brainstorm different ways of having my strap be attached to the back panel but also leave that extra material so I could have plenty of stuff. Like in the tutorial video, she attaches it to the back panel and then she cuts off that extra stuff. And I'm like, isn't this supposed to be like a high stress area? I don't want it to just be attached with like a single line of thread. And after thinking about it for a while, I basically came to the conclusion that I could just do what they do in the video and then not cut it off and hopefully later I can just come back and 
so the extra tail to the other part of it which will hopefully work I don't know it's kind of hard to think of because of like the way it bends I don't know but anyways this bowl spool method with the chopstick was no good it got wrapped around the actual stick of it and uh, really got stuck so I just put it on top and that actually seemed to work out pretty all right <sighs> so yeah got distracted played some Fortnite after finishing this uh, middle gusset thing well it wasn't like finish finished I had to add the uh, pockets here for my water bottle and uh, something else who knows as well as those bottom things and now it's uh, pretty much ready to attach the front panel to the gusset and was pleasantly surprised at how well everything fit together you know just going off of uh, my square template no ruler for measuring just kind of like you know hold things together and hope it worked out I guess I could have trimmed stuff down if I really needed to but uh, for the most part it was just like sized pretty nicely then I was impatient so I turned it inside or right side out and uh, had a look at it this is kind of what it'll look like when it's done anyways turn it inside out again and going to attach the back panel I was like, oh, I better, uh, you know, put more thread in the bobbin. Looking pretty low, and I didn't want anything to interrupt me, so spooled that up and got to sewing the back panel on. And one side went, like, pretty well. It was kind of thick around where the uh, thing is. Oh, uh, yeah, here's my test uh, thing to make sure everything was threaded up right. But on the like last panel <laughs> side, <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to put down the presser foot and I sewed for a little bit and then I was like, oh shit, the presser foot and I put it down and tried to sew again and I don't know, something got fucked up and my last needle broke. It's all bent up. So that's pretty shit. <laughs> One panel to go and it would have been pretty much done. So, kind of a bummer way to end the episode, so I'll work on this more later. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a sprout update. I wonder if, I probably do need just a better light if I'm going to be growing stuff. Later, guys. <laughs>